What's going on, y'all? This is your boy Scotty, and we're here for the review of the Real Housewives of Potomac. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get right on into the video because it picks up where we left off last week with Karen and Giselle going back and forth. Now, Karen just decided that she's gonna go back into this friendship as optimistic as possible. Okay, she just lost her father. It's it's been sh a two. She's been two months shy of burying her father. And Giselle is getting pissed off because Karen didn't want to divulge certain type of information to her um, when it when she first asked her about it. Giselle, she's just coming back into your fold, sweetheart. What makes you think that she wants to go ahead and tell you some bullshit about her life? you practically giving her a reason not to tell you shit, pretty much, because at the end of it all, you couldn't pull her to the side to confront her about how you really felt about what she decided to do and who she decided to confide in. You did it in front of everybody that caused a scene. So that is the main reason why Karen really don't want to fuck with you. And if that's the fucking case, I don't want to fuck with your ass either, Giselle. Like, you be messy, you do a lot of fucked up underhanded bullshit and then you expect everybody to just walk up to you and act like everything's okay. It's not okay, bitch. Like, own up to what the fuck you do. Karen got every right to keep your ass at arm's length because I would too. I probably wouldn't even be fucking with you. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, for me, trust is a big thing for me. And when once you break my fucking trust and if I decide to forgive your ass, it's going to take forever in a day for me, to, uh, for me to trust your ass again. Like, some for some people it took years for me to trust their ass again. Although me and them had um fixed our relationship and I'm referring to someone that was like um what well, that still is rather someone that I grew up with. Like they had did some betraying shit to me and it took me a while to forgive them for that. And you know, we're in a better place now. But when I tell you it took me at least two to three years to really, really let shit go and forgive them for what they did and just trust them again. Because they gave me a reason to trust them. So, Giselle, you haven't given Karen now one reason to trust your bitch ass again. And that's why she's doing it the way she's doing it. You Like, you're a fraud. Point blank. So then Candace, she gets into her mommy issues. And I really feel bad for Candace because at the end of it all, no girl deserves to get called a dumbass bitch by her mother. Like her mother's supposed to be a whole damn therapist with her Scooby-Doo looking ass and she decides that she wants to call her daughter a dumbass bitch. And I really feel like Candace has a lot of mommy issues and if Candace is an insecure woman it's because of the way her mother treated her. And her mother is not the ideal mother. Like honestly like I, ain't, I, I can't believe that I'm about to say this. But I feel like Dorothy is worse than Mama Joyce. For real. Like, I used to go in on Dora all the time. But at this point, I feel like she's worse than Mama Joyce is. And that's just real ass shit. Like, real talk. She worse than Mama Joyce. Like, I, I, I never thought that I could name anybody that could be worse than her. Dorothy is full of shit. And the way Candace always crying whenever she discusses her mother, it, it really baffles me. And I don't like that. Like... As much as my mother annoys me, I can never see myself talking about my mother and crying every time I speak about her because she treated me so horribly. You know what I mean? Like, that's really ridiculous. But again, my mother had that same type of relationship with my grandmother, which is probably why me and my grandmother aren't so close like that. But it's fucked up. It's really fucked up, and it hurts my heart to see that. You know what I mean? Like, uh-uh. You need to lash at Dorothy one good time. And if she don't want to deal with it, that's on her. Because she's fucking you up. Like... I can only, like, if she's calling you a dumbass bitch now as a 30-something-year-old woman, I can only imagine the shit she said to you in your face when you were growing up. She probably was brutal back then. More brutal than she is now. And then she paying your bills. Let her go, honey. Let her go. Then, Giselle... Candace and Katie were talking about Karen and um, basically Candace was like, you know, Karen just not ready to open up to you yet. Like she's very closed off. She just doesn't trust you right now. And that's just what it is. Like Giselle, the woman don't trust you right now. And you just need to let it go. Like you just got to get over yourself. She don't trust you. Period. And she got every right not to fucking trust your ass. Like, girl, if you don't get over your damn self, I like I can't I can't take you. 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 Like, you really believe that this woman gonna open up to you just that fast just because y'all been cool for five minutes, you think that she gonna be cool with you at the ten minute mark? Girl, please, it's not gonna happen. It's not realistic. It's just not. Okay, 
So, then they go into Ashley. Now, Candace is saying that she don't believe that Ashley wants to have a baby right now because she keeps drinking like a fish. But I don't understand why Candace keeps bringing up the fact that this girl wants to have a baby. The girl just had a damn miscarriage not too long ago. And I would think that you would be a little bit more sympathetic and empathetic to her situation. Now, granted, Ashley always talk about people. And she always got something to say about somebody else's situation. But, like, why is that? A, why Why do you keep talking about it? Like, if you feel like, if you feel that way, why don't you just ask her yourself if she really wants to have a baby? Like, what's the big deal? Why is this a discussion? I don't know. And her ass don't fucking know either. But Karen and Monique have dinner. And they talk about Monique's rainbow baby and how she's getting everything together for that. And a rainbow baby is basically a baby that you get that you conceive after you have a um, miscarriage. And you know, Monique has been very nervous about this pregnancy because she just had a fucking miscarriage. You know what I mean? Like, I can only imagine how she feels. Like, she just lost one baby and then soon after she loses it, she goes and gets pregnant with another one. So, of course, the anxiety is high and she just want to make everything the right way, basically. So, I don't really blame her for it. And y'all know I love Monique. If you don't know now, you know now. Now, this is the only thing I'm going to say about Robin because, you know, I don't fuck with that with that damn butch-looking bitch. She looks like um, Ellen DeGeneres. So, you know, I, I, I ain't going to stay on this bitch for too long. But it was very interesting to hear her talk about her genealogy and talk about how she realized how she was way more European than she is black. And I think she said that um, one of her great, 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 great grandparents was a slave master, I believe. And that's why she's, you know, more European than black. But she considers herself as a black woman. And I felt like that was very interesting. Like, just to know where your ancestors you know, the start of your life and your ancestry is, is I always wanted to go back and see that. I really did. Um, so then they head to the plantation. And, you know, Giselle's father is there. He's oozing with confidence just like his daughter is. And we learn about her heritage and where she came from and her ancestry and how her relatives were treated poorly by the white men and how they were slaves and how they would get their ass beat even when they were pregnant. And it was just crazy how we all, it, it, like I say, like Karen said, it puts a lot of things into perspective. You know what I mean? Like, we all sit up here and we complain about this, we complain about that. Like, I just got a raise at my job just yesterday. Like, my job just up my pay a little bit. So, you know, I complain about my job all the time and how I hate my job and blah, 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 blah. How I'm ready to leave my job and how I'm going to leave my job. Then they keep blessing me. You know what I mean? And then we complain about things like that. And then we don't think about how our ancestors had to deal with so much and how they fought to to get to where we are today. Like, those people didn't have no chance in hell in doing the things that we're doing now. So, it, it just puts just hearing Giselle's history and her learning about it was very interesting. And it, and it made me look at her in a whole different light. So the girls, they get ready to go out of town, but Karen want to lay in her bed and be on Instagram Live all day, and Giselle don't like that. But they go out on the town, they have a great time. And after they go out on the town and have a great time, they have a drunken good time back at the hotel room, which leads to a whole confrontation between Candace and Ashley. And this whole situation with Candace saying that she don't believe that Ashley is really wants to have a child right now because of her excessive drinking, that becomes the topic of discussion. And everybody don't agree with Candace. And Candace just don't know what she's talking about. Like, what the fuck you drinking ain't got shit to do with you trying to conceive? I just don't see that. Like, I know a lot of, plenty of women that drunk 40s and child but half of them weren't even planning on getting pregnant here they got pregnant didn't even know they were pregnant so i can't even use them as an example however i'm sorry y'all tired but however at the end of the day candace like if you really wanted to know you could have just came to ashley but you talking to tom dick and harry about it then you sit up in your confessional and then you talking about the fact that mike want to suck a dick and you keep bringing it up it's like you've been waiting for the moment to use this shit as ammo it, and it's like you were in your in the back of your brain while you were arguing candace i bet you want to sit up there and yell out that's why your man want to suck dick 
I'm pretty sure that's what you wanted to say, huh? I know that's what you wanted to say, girl, because that's something I probably would have wanted to say, but I just ain't going to say that shit. I ain't going to go that low. But I think the argument is going to continue on next week, but that whole argument was stupid. And But at the same time, it's really just Ashley getting a taste of her own medicine because she does everybody else like this, so why can't she get the same thing back? That's all I can say. But that's my review on Potomac. Be sure to like, rate, comment, and subscribe, and share this video. And um, we'll talk about it below. And to my love and hip-hop review, I am out of here, you guys. Peace.